Good day, everyone. Please take a moment to look around. Every chair, person, this stage, everything in this room is made out of small particles called molecules. Different molecules have distinct behaviors. And since matter inherits its features from its molecules, we see a variety of materials with different characteristics. For example, water molecules are tiny, while the protein supplement you take when you go to the gym is made up of large and chain-like molecules which look like cooked spaghetti noodles. These spaghetti-like molecules are called macromolecules that are found in many biological systems, like people and plants. The function of the macromolecule is to move through the biological system so that it can ultimately be ingested by specific cells ensuring that the cell remains healthy and functional. This important process, about which we know little, is called polymer capture, the process of finding the entrance gate of a cell. The entrance of a cell is like a very narrow pipeline called a nanopore, through which the large macromolecule cannot easily pass. This is where my research comes in. I'm trying to understand how the polymer capture can be facilitated by fluid flow. Please raise your hand if you think this process can be seen with naked eyes or microscope. Thank you, you're right. Although macromolecules are the giants of molecular world, they still can't be seen by bare eyes or even microscope. However, the good news is that the behavior can be reproduced by applying physics laws and solving mathematical equations. By using the computational power of computers, we are able to see the molecule's motion and operation. From my virtual experiments, I observed that the fluid flow actually guides the chain to the nanopore so that the chain ends are captured. Even if the chain forms a folded shape, the flow deforms it while approaching the nanopore so that an end finds the hole first. Advances in science often start with an interesting question rather than the aim to address, for example, a cure for genetic diseases. And that is certainly true of my research, but interestingly, one of the important applications of my research is in fact in this area. The results obtained from my research can help biologists and ph pharmacologists design better techniques to understand the mutations to DNA, also a polymer, that results in genetic disorders, so that one day a cure can be found.